This is the Casio version of calculator functions for binomial distributions. Your calculator, your Casio, has built-in functions that will help you solve binomial distribution problems without having to use the formula, and they're much faster than uh, typing everything out. So there's two types of problems. You're going to find the probability of exactly one number, or you're going to find the probability of multiple numbers. All right, now, to find the probability of exactly one number, that's binomial PD, and you type them in in the order X, N, P. To get there, you make sure that you're in stat world. Okay, you're going to hit F5 distributions, F5 again for binomial, and then here's your PD for exactly one number, and your CD, okay, for multiple numbers. These are problems that involve words like at least, at most, more than, less than, or equal to, when it's asking for multiple answers. Okay, now, with this cumulative density function, that's what CD stands for, it's always the probability including X and to the left. So if I had a quick uh, probability distribution table, P of X, and my possibilities were 0, 1, 2, 3, and I typed in binomial CD, okay, three total, whoops, uh, I wanted two or less out of three, and let's say the probability of success is 0.3. If I type that in, that's going to give me two and all the area to the left. So with the number that you type in is included in the uh, probabilities. It's basically going to give me the probability of 0 plus the probability of 1 plus the probability of 2 and get it almost instantly. Okay, so let's walk through a problem and show you how to use the calculator. Studies show that 70% of the families of Pinellas Park, 70% of the families of Pinellas Park, both the husband and the wife work. If seven families are randomly selected, what is the probability that and then we'll answer some questions. Okay, so I want to know what's probably that exactly four of them work. That's basically the probability that x equals four out of seven. Now, we need to know our parameters for binomial distribution. n in this case is seven, that's my total number of families, and p, the probability of success, is 0.7. So again, that's seven families is like my fixed outcomes. So, I'm going to type in binomial PD. Now, I'll show you how to enter it uh, on your calculator. Now, the Casio has a nice little built-in menu. So, binomial PD. Now, the first thing it says is data. I want my list, I want that to be variable. So, always make sure that it says, <coughs> excuse me, uh, variable. So, X in this case is 4. Number of trials is 7, P is 0.7, and then I just go down here and execute, and boom, gives me the answer, 2269. So that's 4, 7, 7, and it's 0.2269. And this is the part where you all get extremely frustrated with me because I did not show you this originally. Keep in mind that's always so that you understand what the numbers mean and you're not just blindly typing things into a calculator. Okay, and the nice thing is you hit exit, you kind of go right back to that menu so you can keep typing stuff in. Now, the next problem says less than four work. So out of seven, what's the probability that less than four work? What I like to do is do a little dummy table. So four is an important number, it's in there. And I'm going to pretend that I'm making a probability distribution and I just pick a couple numbers each way. So I'm basically just trying, drawing the top part of this chart to give me a visualization for what the problem is asking. So it says less than four work. Now less than four does not include the number four. So it's actually three or less. So I'm going to type in binomial CD, cumulative, because I'm asking for more than one number, not just one number. Now I'm going to type in out of the first thing is my x. I can't use 4 even though 4 was in the problem because 4 is not included in my little arrow here, which is the area that I want. So I'm going to do 3 or less out of 7 
probability of 0.7. So I go to my fancy Casio. Now I'm in binomial PD here. So I've got to go back, back to distribution binomial CD. I still want variable. I want three or less. Oh, it does not seem to want to let me change that. There we go. Three or less out of seven. Point seven. We go down to execute, and we get point one two six zero. So that is point one six two zero. Right. One two six zero. Yikes. Okay, now that's essentially the probability of zero families plus one family plus two plus three. But instead of separately calculating all those and adding them up, it does it instantly, which is very beneficial. Now, next one says, what's the probability that more than four work? So I do my same dummy table. All right, two, three, four, five, six, down, okay. Now, it says more than four work. Well, more than four does not include four, so it's actually five or more. Now, the first problem with this is that's asking for the area to the right. Well, the calculator can only get the area to the left. We've worked on a strategy like this before where I can get the area to the left and then subtract it from one. So that's essentially what we're going to do. If I type in binomial... CD, cumulative density function. Now, if I want, if I can get this area here, which is basically four or less, if I can type that in, but I want the area to the right, I'm just going to take one minus that. Okay? Now, to type that in the calculator, I'm going to separately calculate that binomial CD, and, and this is nice, I can just hit exit. And I can go back and change this to 4 or less. I can hit Calculate. I can write that number down, 0 0.3529. 0 0.3529. That's, again, this area here. That's the area to the left, 4 and to the left. I want the other part, so I subtract it from 1. And I'm going to do 1. one minus, oh my goodness, one minus 0.3529 and get 0 0.6471. And again, that's essentially getting me the probability of five plus the probability of 6, plus the probability of 7, but instead of individually calculating those, I can do it much faster. Now, the easy part is to calculate the mean and standard deviation. The mean is NP, which is out of 7 families, 70%. 70 multiply those, I get 4.9. And the standard deviation is the square root of NP1 minus P, And that gets you 1.21. 1